Three men armed with guns and knives entered the mosque after midday prayers and attacked the worshippers. One victim escaped by jumping from a window after the building was set on fire. Now, for more on this, ENCA reporter Desen Thartia joins us from Durban in South Africa. Good to have you on the show, Desen. Now, what is the latest on this and do we know anything about the motive behind this attack? Well, Maria, the latest is that this case has been taken over by the Specialized Forks Unit, which is one part of the South African Police Service uh, in South Africa. They've taken on this case, but unfortunately at this point, there still aren't, aren't any arrests. We know that three men are still on the run. They escaped the scene yesterday in a white vehicle. But even at this point, there's very little on their descriptions or anything about the clothing that they were wearing. It seems that they had their faces partially covered when they committed this attack. As for the motive, you know, I had the opportunity to speak to Azad Sidak, and he's one of the founders of that mosque in the north of Durban. And he said to us that the way he looks at it is that there are certain people who are not comfortable with the teaching at that mosque. He says that he doesn't know who could have done this, but as he understands it, over the years, there has been some unhappiness about these Shia teachings at that mosque. And I'm by no means an Islamic expert, but he says that uh, it's, in, it's been known for a while. In fact, back in 2010, he tells me, there was another attack on that mosque. Fortunately, it wasn't uh, as bad as this one. In that case, men stormed, the, the facility came in, made people lay on the ground and robbed them of certain items. Okay. He doesn't think that the two are linked. Okay, and Destin, I mean, you mentioned two attacks on this mosque in the past, um, and we see a lot of violence in South Africa, but rarely do we hear about attacks in places of worship. Why? And that's exactly the question that the community there is asking as well. It's a fairly small community, and they want to know why did these men so brazenly come into a place of worship and do this. Now, while we haven't seen attacks of this nature at other places, worship. There have been robberies. So now I think the question that everyone wants answered is what is the motive? And if what the founder was saying to us has any truth in it, I guess that means that they would now need to increase their security there as well, because he says that as of today, prayers will continue as normal, but police investigation still continues and hopefully that will uncover what people need to know.